This series of videos I call Understanding Pinball. I filmed these over 20 years ago in 1989 and I show you on each game that it's more than just flipping the flippers. There's actually a really neat set of rules on how to play each game. I hope you enjoy them. Sally's Gold Bowl was released in October of 83. This was a six digit game, but there were seven digit games released before and after this game. They achieved the million score by the light on top of the digits that would light up for one million or flash when it was two million. Released the same time as Grand Slam, originally these two displays were not in the machine. The paint has been scraped off the back glass and the digits inserted in the holes that were there and converted to four player. There's a switch on the logic board that lets you convert it from two player to four player scoring. Also worth noting are the unusual circuit boards in the head. Although the standard Bally logic board and one of their usual sound boards, the solenoid driver and the lamp driver board were all put onto one large board. The only other full size pinball machine to use this uh, system was the Grand Slam. Of course we're not counting the Baby Pac-Man and the Granny and the Gators games and also the gun game Midnight Marauder that also use something similar to this. With the machine completely turned off, it's dead. But even turned on, just the coin lights lit. And then when the computer boots up, the rest of the game will come on. But what makes Gold Ball so collectible, so unusual. Starting a game, simply launches a standard silver ball to the play field. Well, the secret's under the play field. This trough here and coil kick out randomly that gold ball you see hidden in there. And completely at random, Instead of the silver ball, the gold ball is pumped up onto the playfield to your shooter. A close-up view of both, of course. The two gold ball pinball machines that have come through my hands have always had this ball. I have no idea where you could ever get a spare one if you should lose it. It doesn't appear as though the gold is painted on either. You might ask, how on earth does the machine know the difference? Well, this little flap right here will open when the gold ball's in the play field. And when the gold ball drains back in the hole, it'll flap shut again and the silver ball will come out and that'll go down the out hole just like normal. Now we're ready to play. Shoot the ball to the top and hopefully your ball will roll through one of the play roll throughs here. Each time you roll through one, you get 5,000, plus you'll advance your bonus down here by 3,000. Your right flipper button will change the lane. Move the lights at the top. But what I like is that you don't have to flip the whole flipper to make the lights move. By holding the button in halfway and moving it in and out, you can get a much quicker reaction. When play is completed, I'll get 50,000, and the light will move on to extra ball, plus 50,000, again. And then you're special for the third time. That, of course, can be set from memory or not from memory by flipping a switch. Your pop bumpers score 100 points. This button here advances the arrow in the center of the play field four steps each time. Also gives you 400 points. This one roll over at the top, when it's not flashing, gives you 500 points. However, when it's flashing, it has a special meaning. That becomes a skill shot for a free game only when the gold ball is first shot on the play field. We'll show you more of that in a moment. And this is how you get your multipliers. In addition to getting your advancing bonus, you also go two, three, two times, three times, then you go to 100,000, and finally a special. There's no four or five times in the game. The spinner on the left 
will give you a thousand points plus it also advances that arrow too. There are four ten point rubbers here, 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 and here that also advance the D arrow. There is just one slingshot on the right. That gives you 50 points. This gives you 50 points, but no kick. Your right drain gives you 3,000 and advances the bonus. Your left lane here, though, feeds back to the flipper, hopefully. And in addition to giving you 3,000 and advancing the bonus, it will also move the arrow three points. You only get 1,000 rolling through here, but you do at least advance the bonus. The center targets here move your arrows on either side. The key is the center one. That's actually spotting the letter you want and moves the arrow. Spot and moves it. The original plastic continued from this side to this side. It was one full piece and there was a hole in the center to hit this target. Unfortunately that's broken and there are no spare parts apparently available now so this has to make do. Because the target's a little bigger, it does make it slightly easier to spot the darn letters. But the only other place you can do it on the whole play field is right here, in this, like, turnaround. So you can move the arrow all over the place, but only in these two places can you actually spot Gold Ball. When you finally do, the lights advance to the next level. Now I'll get 200,000 plus a special when I spell Gold Ball again. Right now, if my ball drains, I'll get 54,000. If I go over that mark, though, 60,000 light lights, and then I just add up my new score. And this is collected when the ball drains. But how does the gold ball come up on the play field? Well, according to the book, Notice the mint misprint here where it says Grand Slam. The gold ball is done on a play percentage. Right now I have it set on the easiest setting, which is liberal, 15%. But you can have it all the way down to 1%, so you almost never see the gold ball. And only when the ball does drain, you actually find out if you're going to go into the gold ball play. The lights flash. The noise comes out, and there's that gold ball. In between the flippers, this light will remain flashing throughout the gold ball play. Everything's worth three times. Now that star is flashing. It'll only stay flashing until you score something. That's your skill shot. You want to shoot your ball up gently enough so it doesn't roll down any of the other lanes, but instead hits this. The light will go out. Now you have two arrows. So as they move around, they move around like this, and you can spot two at a time. If you can spot them all, you win an additional free game. And yet here's another free game that you can win simply by spelling gold ball again. And your triple scoring continues. Go down there, the door closes. Of course, it has to count up everything first. <laughs> Here it goes. And your silver ball is back up again, back to regular play. We'll give, begin with ball two. I have gold so far spotted. Two, the top, I now have two times my bonus. I have spelled play at the top another time, so now I'm up to my extra ball if I can spell play again. Let's see here. Now if I hit the center target, I'll spot an L now. Hmm. 
comes ball three. So now I got my extra ball. The top, if I get spell play again at the top, I will get my special. Now I need to hit the center target. Good. Well, it's not going to do me any good to hit the center target because it's already on a light that I hit. Oh. I do shoot that again. Ah, here comes the gold ball. Now, my skill shot at the top. Also, my play special, so I can actually get as many as four specials this shot. Let's see if I can get it. There's that gold ball. Oh, got it. Now, everything scores triple. One more letter to hit, to hit my gold ball. In the One more. Oh. <laughs> Back to regular play now. That's still a good healthy score. My fourth ball had gone straight down when the camera rudely shut off. And now I'm on my fifth ball. I can still go for that special at the top. Can even spell gold ball. Nope. I didn't quite get to a million, but I did get a free game at eight hundred thousand.